Hello, my name's Stuart Parker. I work into Parker Furniture Workshops. I've been a joiner cabinet maker for over 25 years, and I hope this video helps with your DIY project. We have a big old radio alarm saw in the other workshop, which is a large piece of kit. But in a small compact workshop, we use this one here because it enables us to knock it down and move it elsewhere when we're not using it. This will do everything that a radio alarm will do, but as I say, in a shorter space. Basically, it will pull towards you and chop anything from nothing to a foot wide. It compounds mitres both ways, so you can flip it to the left or to the right to mitre and you can mitre from 60 degrees down to nothing. Simply by setting the locking nut, when you've tilted it, it will lock it in place. Now this little bit of kit on the side here, not many chop saws have got it, but this has got a radial arm on it. Basically, just by tilting that knuckle down and adjusting this wing nut, that will adjust the depth of blade. So when cutting houses or trenches in wood, you can do it fast and effectively with this. But simply, I'll go over it again. That will enable me to chop right through the timber. Simply by pushing that down and adjusting the nuts, that will dictate the height and rise of my blade. So that's how we can use it as a trenching. You have two wide fences on the sides to enable me to hold long workpieces. I also have a bench this can go in. It also can be locking in place, which has two roller bearings either side to enable me to slide long lengths of wood. As I say, this can cut up to a foot wide or it can cut down to sort of half inch by half inch. A very useful piece of kit.